Mysterious signals from deep out in space known as fast radio bursts, a mysterious force pulling galaxies toward itself, and the mystery of dark matter. These are scary space anomalies that scientists wish they never found. Starting off this list today, we are talking about fast radio bursts. Fast radio bursts are some of the most mysterious signals we've ever detected in space. These bursts of radio waves are so intense and short that they only last a few milliseconds, yet they can release as much energy as the sun does in an entire day. The first FRB was discovered back in 2007, and since then, astronomers have been trying to understand where they are coming from. They're often detected in far off galaxies and some are repeating, while others only happen once. The weirdest thing is how unpredictable they are. Sometimes the bursts arrive in rapid fire, and other times they seem to just pop up out of nowhere. So. What's behind them? The leading theory is that they come from neutron stars, which are remnants of exploded stars. When neutron stars collide or spin, they release massive amounts of energy, possibly causing these strange bursts. But there are some that are still completely unexplained. The most fun theory, and the one that I really hope is true, is that unexplained fast radio bursts are signals from alien civilizations. Can't say definitely that that isn't the case, so I'm just gonna go ahead and believe that until it's disproved. In our number 9 spot today, we are talking about the Great Attractor. The Great Attractor is a gravitational anomaly in space that scientists are still trying to figure out. This mysterious force seems to be pulling our galaxy, the Milky Way, and many others toward it. The thing is, we can't actually see. It's found in a region of space between the constellations Centaurus and Hydra, hidden behind a huge cosmic dust cloud, so we can't really directly observe what's causing the pull. All we know is that it's incredibly powerful, strong enough to affect galaxies millions of light years away. The force is so intense that it's literally altering the motion of galaxies, dragging them across space. Some scientists think the Great Attractor could be a cluster of galaxies clumped together in a way that's creating a gravitational pull. Others think it could be a supermassive black hole, or something even stranger. Maybe some kind of dark matter concentration that we just don't fully understand yet. Whatever it is, it's something out there that's affecting the universe in ways we just don't understand, and the fear of the unknown makes it one of the scariest mysteries in astronomy. Next we are talking about the cosmic microwave background radiation anomalies. Say that 10 times fast. The cosmic microwave background is a faint glow of radiation left over from the Big Bang. This radiation fills the entire universe, and studying it helps scientists understand what the early universe was like. But in recent years, some oddities in the CMB have popped up. One of the most famous is what's often referred to as the cold spot, an area where the radiation is much cooler than it should be. This cold spot is a huge mystery because it doesn't fit with what we understand of how the universe formed. Could it be caused by a giant cosmic structure beyond our our observable universe? Probably. But we can't really be sure. There are also other anomalies in the CMB, like weird patterns and irregularities that don't line up with the models we have. I keep saying we. They have. Actual astronomers and scientists, not just people like me who also make plenty of videos on Bigfoot and the Titanoboa. Point is, there's a lot about the early universe that very smart people who study this stuff for a living still don't understand. But that's what science is. An ever-growing constant pursuit of the truth. Next we are talking about Tabby's star. This star, about 1,500 light years away from us, flickers. It has these strange dimming patterns that we just don't really see with other stars. Normally, stars will dim and brighten because of things like dust clouds or changes in their own activity. For example, a star might expand and contract, or flicker because of things like solar flares. But Tabby's star's behavior is completely different. Some of the dimming episodes are dramatic, where the star loses up to 20% of its brightness. That's huge. Most stars don't fluctuate like that. So what's going on? One explanation is that dust might be blocking the light, but this theory doesn't really explain such a sudden, extreme drop in brightness. One theory that actually gets talked about amongst researchers more than you'd probably think is that something massive, 
say an alien Dyson sphere could be blocking the light. What is a Dyson sphere? Well, it's a hypothetical piece of technology, a massive sphere that would surround a star to collect its energy. It definitely sounds far-fetched, but at this point, it's really anybody's guess. Space is just too vast and too mysterious to rule anything out entirely. Next, we are talking about dark matter. Dark matter is a really strange concept to try and wrap your head around. We can't see it, we can't touch it, but we know it's there because we can observe its effects on things that we can see. Here's the problem. We know that galaxies shouldn't be holding together the way that they are based on the visible matter we can detect. There's just not enough visible matter to explain how galaxies stay intact. Because of this, we have dark matter, which is believed to make up about 27% of the universe's total mass. It bends light and affects the movement of galaxies, but what exactly is it? Well, we actually don't know. It's just this stuff that's there, but isn't. It's completely unknown almost like nothing from Never Ending Story. Some scientists think it could be made of particles we haven't discovered yet. Others think that dark matter might not be particles at all, but something else entirely. We just don't know. Next, we are talking about Oumuamua. In 2017, we had a visitor from another star system, an object that we call Oumuamua. It was moving way too fast to have been part of our solar system, which means it must have come from somewhere else. The strange thing about Oumuamua wasn't just its speed, though, it was also its shape. It was long and cigar-shaped, unlike any asteroid or comet we've ever seen before, and it didn't have the typical tail of a comet. It was just this weird, elongated thing zipping through space. Even stranger, its trajectory seemed to change as it passed through the solar system, like something was pushing it in a way that didn't make sense. Most scientists think it was just a weird comet or asteroid, but there are some that think it could have been a probe sent by an alien civilization. Is that likely the case? Probably not, but either way, it came from outside our solar system and behaved in ways that don't match anything we expected. So there's just a lot of unanswered questions going on with Oumuamua. Next, we are talking about the Milky Way black hole. At the center of our galaxy, there is a super massive black hole called Sagittarius A. This black hole has about 4 million times the mass of our sun, and it's surrounded by a whole bunch of stars stars and gas swirling around it. We can't see the black hole directly because light can't escape from it, but we can see the effect it has on everything around it. It's been pretty quiet recently, but astronomers are always keeping an eye on it. Thank you, astronomers. Sometimes the material around the black hole speeds up and forms these huge bursts of radiation. It can release an enormous amount of energy. Now, scientists think Sagittarius A could be getting ready to wake up. While it hasn't been as active lately, there are signs that it could become more active again, which raises all kinds of questions. Could it start pulling in more stars? Could it release huge amounts of radiation? Could it do God knows what else? Next, we are talking about rogue planets. Rogue planets are pretty terrifying. These are planets that don't orbit a star and instead just wander through space all on their own, totally unsupervised. The crazy thing is that these planets could be anywhere and we don't even know it unless they happened to cross in front of a distant star. They could be remnants of solar systems that fell apart, or they could have formed without a star at all. We've found a few rogue planets so far, but scientists believe that there could be many, many more out there. In fact, they might even outnumber the stars in our galaxy. It's hard to imagine a planet just drifting through space without the warmth and light of a star, but these planets might still have their own internal heat and could possibly even support life in some weird way. The idea of a planet traveling alone through the vast, dark reaches of space is kind of cool, I guess. Imagine if Earth was somehow able to do that with all of us still able to survive. We'd be on a constant journey through space, a Star Trek if you will. Next up, we are talking about X-ray bursts. X-ray bursts are another mind-blowing space phenomenon. These bursts are incredibly powerful bursts of X-rays that come from deep space, often from the direction of neutron stars. Neutron stars are super dense remnants of exploded stars, and when they pull in material from a companion star, they can release massive bursts of energy. These bursts are so powerful that they can release more energy in a fraction of a second 
wind than the sun does in a whole day. Some X-ray bursts are understood, like ones that come from neutron stars, but others are still a complete mystery. Some of these bursts don't match anything we know about normal astrophysical events. This makes X-ray bursts one of the scarier things scientists are studying. Are they caused by natural processes we don't understand yet, or could there be something more out there, some force or object that we haven't even discovered yet? And finally on our list today we are talking about the mystery of missing antimatter. Antimatter is like the mirror image of regular matter. When a particle of matter meets its antimatter counterpart, they annihilate each other in a burst of energy. Pretty simple, but this leads to a problem. When the universe was created, it should have produced equal amounts of both matter and antimatter, but instead we see a universe mostly made up of matter. The mystery is where did all the antimatter go? Scientists have been trying to figure out why there's this imbalance. Some think that there may have been a slight difference in the behavior of matter and antimatter in the early universe, but we don't know for sure, and at this point, there's really no way to figure that out aside from figuring out a way to travel back in time. So if any of you have any ideas on how to do that, let the scientists know. Alright guys, that has been our list for today. Thanks so much for checking it out. I've been your host today, Olivia Kozlowski, and I'll see you again soon. Goodbye.